Hello everyone, and thank you very much for watching this video. I am Pierre-Olivier Stral, senior scientist at Alveol, and during the next 10 minutes with Aurélien Pasturel, PhD candidate, we would like to show you how to engineer 3D microenvironments by hydrogel structuration and biofunctionalization. At Alveol, we strongly believe that cells have to be studied in microenvironments that are as close as possible as the ones encountered in vivo. To help scientists engineer these complex biological models, Alveol provides solutions for engineering them. We recently launched the Primo Optical Module. This device is directly plugged on a conventional inverted microscope and allows to project pattern UV light through the objective of the microscope, directly onto the sample, which is placed on the stage holder. Thanks to a micro-mirror device, this UV light can be shaped on demand using our dedicated Leonardo software. This UV light that one can now control is used in combination with specific UV-sensitive chemistries to engineer cellular microenvironments. For instance, it allows for micropatterning of biomolecules into an anti-adhesive background. This is useful to control single cell, as shown on the left, or multicellular arrangement, as shown in the center. This approach can also be used to expose cells to activating molecules. The UVs projected by the Primo technology is also useful to prototype microfabrication experiments without the need of a photomask. This allows for the generation of microfluidic chips, for instance, as shown on the left, or arrays of micropillars as shown in the center. Because the Primo technology can also project UV light in a quantitative manner, complex Z-control microfabricative objects can also be designed out of UV-sensitive photoresist, as you can see on the right side of the slide. Now, Aurélien Pastorel will show you how he's using the Primo technology in order to structure and functionalize hydrogen for 3D cell culture. Thank you, Pierre-Olivier. My name is Aurélien Pasturel, and as an industrial PhD candidate, I work both for the French CNRS and Alveol. Hydrogels are polymeric networks containing more than 90% water. They have synthetic or natural origin and are great mimics of the extracellular matrix in the context of 3D cell culture. However, they are fragile, which makes them difficult to shape and biofunctionalize. To tackle this challenge, we use the capacity of Primo to control the shape and gray levels of the UV beam in combination with gas permeable PDMS microreactor. This gave us precise control over the gas, reagent, and photon distribution during the engineering processes. In turn, four distinct engineering operations are possible using the setup, and I will present them afterwards. Our PDMS microreactor come from the stacking of two PDMS stencils, which can be found on Alveol website. This creates a reactor with a gas permeable interface on the ceiling. We can subsequently incubate hydrogel prepolymers and photoinitiator inside the chamber. In a first engineering operation, argon is perfused to polymerize up to the ceiling. This is total polymerization and it is useful to create hydrogel barriers. In a second engineering process, we control the polymerization thickness by adjusting the photon flux. This Z-controlled polymerization exploits the inhibition effect of oxygen contained in the air. Last but not least, we also use oxygen for a substractive structuration method. During photocision, 
we liquefy the hydrogel in the insulated volume. Overall, oxygen gave us three structuration methods which are complementary with our decoration method that I will describe now. After the structuration step, we can graft patterns of photolinker aligned onto the topography. The photolinker serves as an intermediate. It will subsequently react with polylysine to form a protein-friendly layer onto the hydrogel. Indeed, proteins of interest can be spontaneously adsorbed to the PLL. This successive structuration and decoration generate hydrogels with heterogeneous topographical and chemical features. Using the same workflow, we created peg hydrogel in the shape of domes, with circular adhesive patterns. Cos7 cells were cultivated on the substrate and grew according to the biochemical and topographical cues as you can see on the left panel. As a conclusion, with Primo and microreactors, we obtain four hydrogel engineering operations. These operations can be queued to fit several applications such as perfusible channel, spherid standardization, structuration of matrix gel, control of cell adhesion, and as we saw before, topographical and chemical cues combined. The details of this work can be found on our bioarchive preprint, a generic white field topographical and chemical photopatterning method for hydrogel. Thank you for watching this video.